I was just painting and I was thinking back to when I was new. And I think it was because I was doing some new stuff on canvas and it really scared me. And I was like, I freaked out. And that just reminded me, you know, of when I started out. So I want to talk about what to do when you're learning and not quite sure about how to handle what's coming through uh, in your art. Because uh, when we're learning to paint, it's not always easy to accept whatever it is that pops up onto the canvas. And sometimes you might even get brave and say use a dark color or something and it overwhelms you, right? And I think in, immediately we just, our first reaction is just to calm it down so that it doesn't like take over the whole painting. But what we don't realize is that we're just feeling unsafe and it just takes time for our eyes to, to adjust to what's actually happening on uh, the canvas, either it's, you know, whether it's a bold move or a bold color, okay? So, uh, you might also experience something like painting something ugly and then like thinking that, oh gosh, I'm not, I'm never gonna be able to paint. I'm not good at this at all. And what you don't realize is that there's a gap between your knowledge and what you're trying to express. And I think that's so important to like have a grip on, to know that that's, that's the reason so that you don't like just feel like you're not good enough because it has nothing to do with you and it's not something that only happens to you it happens to all of us and it's so easy to just like give up i know that's how it was for me anyhow um i started like toying with the thought of giving up instead of pushing through right and i think it's important to realize that when things get tough that that only means that you're learning something new and if you give up, you're never going to get through that, right? You're just going to stay where you are now. So uh, if you keep going, I promise you that you will feel so good about it. Don't be tricked into thinking that all these artists on social media always paint these great paintings because that's not true. I don't, you don't, and neither do they, okay? Just remember that all your dreams are on the other side of your fears. And that's as simple as that. Keep going. All right, let's get some painting done, guys. Hi, guys. So today I have uh, two colors. I have Azo Yellow Deep. I have Ultramarine Violet. And I'm not sure, but I might come in with this red ochre later on. But for now, I have these two and then the black and white. And I'm just going to kind of see where that brings me before I uh, decide if I want to bring in that third color. And I want to start out with a darker value. So I'm putting some black in there. I think I'm going to need more black. It's probably not enough. Let's see if I can move some stuff. Oh, I've been so lazy today. I have so much paint and stuff on my table. Oh, wow. It's like crazy. I'm too lazy to clean. <laughs> All right. Tomorrow's a new day. So it's pretty late here now. It's like a quarter to ten. And I'm recording this video for tomorrow. And I figured I just wanted to have it done so that I could just edit it tomorrow and then uh, upload it to YouTube. All right, I think I like that there. But before I start, I think I want to start with some of these. Uh, it's just a pencil, not carpenter's pencil, I guess. And I'm just going to make some marks on that. I'm probably not even going to show through when I'm done, but I always like to do make some marks, don't I? So, 
All right, um, I'm gonna use my palette knife for this. Uh, I'm just trying to get something down real quick so that I don't like, I don't know, I feel kind of, um, I don't know, I don't feel that loose today. I don't know why, but that's just the way it is. Like some days are easier than others and today's just not, a, you know, one of those days where I'm like, feeling really free and relaxed. <clears throat> I guess it's a lot like when you work out, like some days are better than others. I don't know. Um, could be, not sure. But it's not that I, I, you know, well, not feeling that free. I mean, I'm always free when I paint, but some days I'm just more free than others. So I guess that's what I'm trying to say. Um, let's see if I can find, well, I guess I could just use this. I just want to make some marks in here too while I'm at it. pull the paint out and make some lines with it. All right, we'll leave it there, I guess. And then I'm gonna pull out my dryer because I still haven't gotten around to buying a new heat gun. So, so I tried giving this like a really good dry because, um, I don't want to spread that dark paint out all over the place, so I gave it a good, good dry. All right, let's see if we can put some of it over here. I'm gonna bring in some of this Titan Buff. So I'm just gonna put some of that down because it's, it's like, an off-white-ish color. And I'm just gonna put my light purple paintbrush in there. I don't know, I just uh, feel like using it. I, kind of a nice combo with this uh, purple. Yeah. And I'm gonna pull it all the way down, I think, a bit. So at the moment, I'm just like going with what my gut is telling me to do. I'm not really, I don't have anything planned or anything. Just listening to my gut feeling. Yeah, I kind of like that in there. I think I'm just going to leave it in that one spot as well. And then I want some black in that yellow so I can get this like nice green color that I know that I'm gonna get. <laughs> I'll bring it over here and then bring some of that yellow in there. It's my favorite green color. I'm gonna put some gesso in it. So I just wanna lighten it up a bit. I don't want the dark yet. A bit of it over here. Ooh, my finger. All right. Let's see if I can find a new brush. I'm gonna try and not be so late <laughs> be that lazy today. <laughs> Oh, sometimes I just don't want to change brushes. I don't know why. It's just something I do, I guess. Mm. All right, let's get some paper towel out because I want to kind of dry off that dark paint. I don't want it to cover it up. There we go. I don't know if I like the green at the bottom here, so maybe I might change that up later. 
Not too sure about it. I think it'll be here somewhere. Yeah. All right, let's see. Put some water in there. So what I want to do is get more of that Titan buffer on here and then just blend it a bit. I don't want that sharp edge to it. Yeah, I like that. And then I want more of that purple in there that we had going on at the top. That light purple. Yeah, I like that. Now that I like. All right, so I'm gonna come in with some white paint. Not sure where though. Maybe here. Yeah, I kind of like that. Maybe a little bit bigger. Looks cute. <laughs> cute. It looks nice. I like it. So just making some marks with it. Uh, and I think I'm going to blend some of it out. Right there. And maybe down here too. I'm not sure if I. like that and that green I don't really like so I think I'm gonna let's see if we can make um, another color out of that purple um, I'm gonna put some black in there and maybe some of the white yeah and I think I'm gonna come in with that down here Yeah, I kind of like the contrast that I have going on there now. But I'm not sure about that side. I think I just want to pull that dark purple down that we started with. That very dark purple. Just about there, I think. Let's see what happens. I'm not sure if I'm uh, hitting the right color, though. I don't think I am. We'll see how it looks. I'll just let it dry and we'll see. We'll bring it up a bit here on this side. And just follow that circle. I could go all the way up with it, I guess. See what happens. And then come in with that light purple over it again afterwards. Yeah, not bad. We'll leave it there for now. And I think I want some of the light yellow. I hope you can see what I'm doing, guys. Yeah, you can see a bit of it anyhow. I'm just mixing up some of that yellow, the white bringing in a new oh yeah that brightened it up a bit didn't it and then
move some of it down here. I think I'm going to bring it all the way off because I really like it. That yellow streak and things like happen here. Yeah, not bad. How about this green? Put a bit over that yellow. That was a mistake, but that's what happens when you paint. Things don't always go the way they're supposed to, I guess. And I'm not sure, maybe, should I or shouldn't I? Maybe it's just good to have just right there and that's it. I'm not sure. I'm gonna put some paint over that afterwards. I think I'm just gonna leave that there. Um, and I think I'm going to bring in that um, red ochre that I was talking about. Just to warm it up a bit. I don't know. I'm not sure if I, I like it or not. You know, I, there's something wrong with the balance, that's for sure. Because I need more of more darkness on that side, I think. So what I'm going to... Come in with some crazy lines and see what happens. Yeah, I have like oil pastels. Maybe I should just pull out one of them. Yeah, that helps a bit because now it looks darker, right? Yeah, I kind of like that. Yeah, let's leave it at that. <clears throat> For now, anyhow. Something needs to happen here. I'm not sure what though. I'm not sure it's the yellow either. Maybe we'll bring in, let's see, what do, I'm going to bring in some of that purple again. Let's see, um, I think a tiny bit of white with the purple. Yeah, I like that. Now this area I'm, I'm liking. Um, Brighten it up a bit. <laughs> yeah, better, but still not good. I like what's going on. <clears throat> Maybe I should use it. I'm not sure. With some uh, white, maybe. with the purple I think uh, but I don't know I'll try it there yeah it's not bad but I don't know if I should use it there see now I'm not sure maybe just a tiny tiny bit yeah 
brush because I don't want to use that much. All right, let's see, put some water on this. Put some water on that and see if I can just pull it out. Blend it with the rest. Oh yeah, I like that. Not bad. But still, something's still missing. And I think I need to bring it back over that pink. And yeah, I still something's still missing. I need another spot of this over here somewhere. Go like that, and then if I can bring back some of the line. Yeah. Not bad. But maybe I should pull the dark purple over to the... I'm not sure. Or maybe I should just... a little bit better but there's still not there's something not right over here i don't know i should pull that up or maybe i should pull it down could be down all right i'm gonna let that dry and we'll see i think it's still too light though even though it will dry dry a bit darker but still it's not Let's see what that looks like when it dries. Uh, I wish you guys could help me out now because <laughs> that would be helpful. <laughs> I'm not sure. I really don't know. Maybe. Let's see if I make it darker again. Did that do it? It helped a bit. It's like. Everything's so empty up here, and I'm not sure what I want or should do. Um, all right, I think I'm going to bring my um, fine liner in. See if I can get it to work the way I have the worst one here, I think. Um...